Good passing by the Lynx, and it ends with a Diamond Miller basket. I'm here with Diamond Miller, the number two overall pick in the 2023 WNBA draft, and now a Minnesota Lynx. With the second pick in the 2023 WNBA draft, the Minnesota Lynx select Diamond Miller from the University of Maryland. How has the transition been for you so far? The transition in general has been just a learning experience. I feel like I'm a sponge and I'm constantly learning from not only my vets, but from my coaches, just everybody around me. This is a totally new environment, so it's just something to absorb for sure. Speaking of transition, transition on the floor. Yeah. You playing in transition has always been one of your strong suits and that has been something that's been able to carry over to what you're doing now. What is one thing that makes you so good in playing out in transition and getting out and getting ahead of it? I think my speed helps. I'm pretty quick with the ball and I think people don't expect someone who is my height, 6'3", to be able to handle the ball like that. I feel like I have guard skills and I'm kind of long, so that helps. You us. are very long. <laughs> <laughs> that helps a little bit. <laughs> So we have a couple of transition plays from you. You know, obviously Minnesota Lynx, a team that wants to play off their defense. Mm -hmm. So once you guys get the stop here, you get the rebound, you're playing at some pace. Tell me a little bit about what you see. Well, right now I see there's two defenders I can already see through my eyes. And then I see Jorner behind me and I know she's a little slower than me. So if I get in front of her, she's gonna be out of the play completely already. And then from there, I'm just trying to make game reads and find gaps. And you can certainly see the gap going to my left, which is don't have a gap going to my left. And here's Miller bringing it up the court. Diamond Miller's going to get in the paint. Left-handed layup is good. Miller's got eight points in the first quarter. We also have another one. Same type of thing, playing mm -hmm. off of the defense. Making sure you want to play fast. This one's a little bit different. I got the rebound and I was able to push it and that's one-on-one -on -one situation and there you just got to work. When it's one-on-one -on -one, it's you, defender, and who's going to get the bucket and I think I did really good in that one. Really good stuff and you're right, your length, your speed, the pace that you play with, it really does separate you. A lot of pace for Minnesota. Miller with the right hand and off the glass. He gives a look over to the Minnesota bench. So here we have this, end of clock. Big trust in the rookie, right? <laughs> Give me yeah. the ball, end of clock. What do you see? Well, right now, see the shot clock is at 14 seconds. So you want to take the last shot. You don't want to go too early. It kind of worked out perfectly with game clock and shot clock being around the same time. And I see Nina coming for the screen around 10 seconds on the shot clock, which is kind of a good time where you want to go. And they switch. And then you see George and she's in protect, which most people are with me just because of my driving abilities. She's a slower, bigger big. So I feel like I have an advantage with change of speeds and direction to get a bucket. Crosses over, crosses over again. Little hesitation and all the way in. A nice drive by Diamond Miller. All right, those are a couple of opportunities for you to just drive. Mm -hmm. But when you do encounter a good closeout, yeah. You do have moves, right? Mm -hmm. There are other things that you can do. So we're gonna look at some of that now. You do a great job of moving throughout the possession. You get it here. What do you see? Right now I see a long closeout and she closed short, which most people do. And I drive to the middle and they collapse. I completely, I feel George on me. So I pick up my dribble. I see they're playing me to my left, which is usually what people do. And I'm going to up and under to the right hand where there's open space. Yeah, it was good movement throughout the play, throughout the possession. You didn't stand. You did the right thing by cutting through, allowing the K-Mac com to come up. And you get to the corner, nice eye fake there, and then the ability to be able to handle the ball that way gets defenses moving. Picks up the double team, goes right through the double team, scoop shot up and under. That's the signature shot for Diamond Miller. Is that three ball? Yeah. You're shooting it well. Miller, three-pointer from the baseline. Diamond Miller. It's the end of the quarter. The Lynx are down three. Big shot. A three helps, right? So you're able to just come up playing rhythm. How do you feel about this shot and opportunity? Especially during that play, Holmes is on me and she tags feet, which is what most people would do because she is our best player. She's the all-star. So when they tag down, I knew she was going to be late for the recovery. So I was just hoping Rachel saw me for the U-turn <laughs> and what she did, and it worked out in our favor. And I felt no pressure because when it comes to end of the game situations, you just want to get a shot up. I practiced that so many times, so it was kind of like second nature. If you're going to leave me open, I'm going to have to take it. Great read, 
following up with the U-turn, mm -hmm. being available, and then just shooting it without yeah. thinking about it. And getting this game tied going yeah. into the fourth quarter was big as well. All of the things that you're able to do, the, tr the things that you brought with you from playing in college, playing transition, being able to attack, now being able to bring that game out to the three-point line yeah. and shooting the ball that extremely helps. well. Your ceiling is high. There's so much growth and potential mm -hmm. for you, so I'm excited to see where it goes. And I'm excited to continue to watch plays like this. Yeah, me too. Allen will pull up. Miller for three. Looking good, Diamond Miller. Miller will take the three-pointer and hit it. The rookie is not scared to take big shots.